I think um, Christmas, of, of all holidays, is, is, a, is a holiday that gives us the gift of memories, um, and mostly good ones, and, and, and the memories that, that keep living with us as long as we live. Um, so this memory I'm going to share with you is from uh, 10 years ago, uh, Christmas 1999, which was the last Christmas that my mom, and my mom enjoyed here on Earth. And um, it was, by then, she had been struggling with Alzheimer's for a number of years, and she had been moved into a, an apartment in, a, in an Alzheimer's unit not far from my brother's house. And what we usually did was we, we'd bring mom uh, over to my brother's house uh, for uh, Christmas Day, and we'd open presents, and, and then we'd have a big Christmas feast. And um, she'd usually tire out pretty soon, and then we'd take her back to her apartment in uh, a place that was called Clawson Manor. Um, by 1999, 10 years ago, uh, it, it had become clear that the, even that little trip over to my brother's house was, was arduous for her. Um, she got very tired and, and somewhat confused. So th on this particular Christmas, we decided to take Christmas to my mom. And we all piled in our cars, me, uh, my wife, Julie, uh, my cousin, Carol, um, uh, Rachel, my niece, Clara, my niece, and my sister, Mary Lou, and my sister-in-law, Tony, and my brother, Joe. We all went over to Clawson Mountain. We had gifts of all sorts of things. And, and I know Clara and Rachel brought um, chocolates for my mom because she was kind of a chocolate addict, a secret chocolate addict. Um, Julie and I um, brought a plant that we knew that mom would probably water to death before the new year because she watered constantly. She couldn't remember. She could never remember if she had watered a plant, so they didn't usually last very long. And, but she loved, loved getting a plant, so that's why we always brought her plants. Uh, my, my cousin Carol had a, a big pop-up book that she brought, which was the 12 Days of Christmas. Um, and it was this, this gift that my mom showed a great deal of interest in. So while we were sitting around um, talking to mom and talking to each other, my mother suddenly, and we really hadn't known that my mother could read for, for a number of years, and she hadn't even been very verbal in, in recent months, but she picked up this pop-up Christmas book of the 12 Days of Christmas, and she began all of a sudden to attempt to read it. And she started haltingly on the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me and then she went on to the second day of Christmas and the third day of Christmas. Now things didn't exactly come out right. Um, um, you know, maids turned into moms and, and hens turned into houses and so forth and so turtle doves became turtle dolls. Uh, but we let her go on um, until she got to about the tenth day of Christmas and she began to falter because it was clear she was getting tired. Um, and she stumbled a little bit, and, and then I stepped in and tried to prompt her a little bit and get her through to the 12th day of Christmas. And suddenly, she just sort of reared up in her, in her wheelchair, ramrod straight, and her eyes flashing and her chin jutted out, and she said, are you gonna let me do this by myself? And for a minute there, we saw the old mom, the mom we knew, the feisty, independent woman that we had grown up, uh, loving and admiring and, and sometimes being a little intimidated by. Um, and it was an amazing thing to see. Uh, on the way over to, the, to her apartment, uh, I had said to Julie, does, does mom even know it's Christmas? And I think at that moment, uh, when my mom spoke, uh, we all knew it was Christmas.